baby. Sugar baby. Nice whip, nice crib. Nice crib. I want this. I want I that. Want he that. give it to me. Hey, honeys. It's your girl, Melaja Tore. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you can always be notified when i drop a new video because honey you want to be a part of my bad bitch roster and i know that's right i have a different kind of video for y'all so i'm doing a business video today i wouldn't say it's a vlog because we're not going anywhere honey we're staying home okay i want to show y'all how if you are starting a business how you can customize your own packaging without having to go through any kind of vendor you just have to order your packaging and then you can put your own logo on there by yourself with a few tools honey you don't need much and you can cut out the middleman and also save money so if you're interested on how to do your own custom packaging for your business keep watching all right honey so i am home we are in my living room i have a area right here that is for I guess you could say this is my office, honey. I have a workspace slash warehouse where I store all of my products. So for instance, if I have to do logos, I'll do them here. If I have to make business cards, I'll do them here. If I have to do labels, I will do everything here at the house and then I'll take it to my warehouse. So I have a few machines here that I'm very glad that I bought because it's what has helped me do all of my stuff myself i don't really like to go through anybody to get stuff done mainly because some people don't do it right and honey you know if you want to do it right do it yourself okay i invested in some equipment that makes everything easier for me and i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what i invested in so this right here is a cricket machine this machine right here this is the Cricut Cut Smart 2. Does all of your logos for you. And what I mean by logos is this right here. So I have a skincare line. It's a skincare slash feminine care line, Poo Nanny Box. This is my new logo that I designed myself. Don't you love it? It is a vajayshul kit. It is exactly what it says. It is a skincare line for your punani area. And it also helps you smell good, keep your pH balance good down there. It's specifically for your punani. So if you're interested in seeing how I began them big allowances, girl, definitely go shop my punani line. But I want to show y'all the other products that I have that also help me with doing my logos. So if you do decide to purchase a Cricut machine, most of the machines come with this, this, um, I wouldn't call it, a, well it is a chart, it's a measurement chart and it's a whole bunch, it's more than that, but they usually come with these. So if you have a Cricut machine, make sure to order some, I don't know what these are called to be honest with you, it's like a sticky mat. Like you see like stuff sticks to it you'll put your vinyl on here i'm gonna show you everything like i'm gonna go through all the steps on how i do everything but you'll need these you'll need some transfer paper girl because this is what this you will need this right here this is what gets the vinyl off of this mat and puts it onto your packaging and then obviously girl you're gonna need you some vinyl me i got me two different kinds of vinyl i got some glitter vinyl and then i got me some plain black silky vinyl this was honestly my practice vinyl because i want my logos to be glittery and the first one that i did was i was practicing i've done it before but it's been a while so i kind of forgot what i was doing <laughs> so i had to remember and i finally got it down it's not that hard but yes, get the vinyl that you want your logo to be and you can get this, you can get gold, you can get metallic. They're, they have all type of vinyl colors. And then you want to get the sticker vinyl, not the heat press vinyl. And then girl, get you some coffee because I'm tired. <laughs> so after you get invest in your equipment, obviously you're going to need packaging. 
that's the main thing where do you get nice packaging me i go to paper mart i order all of my packaging off paper mart what makes packaging special is the customization of it your logo so i already showed y'all my logo here i designed all of this on my phone you can do a lot of stuff with your phone they have so many cool apps that you can pull graphics from customize it to fit what you're really going for and you know i'll get to the if y'all want me to make a graphics video i'll do that separately but today is just strictly how how i do this um the inside i got this box these uh, pink boxes they came plain just like this no logo just plain pink boxes this one has stuff in it because I am this is my demo box I'm trying to get the inside of it how I want it I'll show y'all that towards the end this was my first box that I did the inside which I should have practiced on that one for my um, logo but I knew this one was gonna come out decent so but the inside is just plain it's a plain pink box so girl you know you have to spaz it up and i wanted the black and the i cannot wait to show y'all i got the bowls to put on it and just all the stuff that goes inside it's it's gonna be really dope i can't wait to y'all see the finished product of that girl come here come here you need to see you need to see you have to obviously have the Cricut app. So this machine right here, my Cricut machine, you have to have it hooked up to your computer. So I have it hooked up to my MacBook because that's just easier for me because this app, this um, Mac mini that I have over here, it's backed up, it's going really slow, it's not fast enough for what I need to get done. It's taking too much time. So I have hooked, I'm gonna show you on the back. I've hooked my, this is how you hook it up. It's simple, it hooks straight up to the wall. And then it also has a USB cord that you can hook into your computer. I bought this off of Amazon. It was like, girl, 15, 20 bucks. So this is what you can use. That way you can hook up printers, crickets, your label machines you can hook it all up to your macbook and then obviously you know it plugs right into the side now i'm going to show y'all how i transfer my logo over to that cricut machine first you need to download i'm going to go ahead and exit out of this so plain screen you need to download the Cricut software. When you buy a Cricut, it comes with the software disc and it also comes with the website and the code that way you can register your Cricut machine online. And this is the design space. On Cricut Design Space, this is where you make all of your logos. This is where I've made all my logos for anything that I've ever needed. When I used to make masks, my hair business, I have all of my logos here. It keeps all your uploads. So right here is where I have made my Punani Box Vizacial Kit logo. When you download it, it gives you the option. So for instance, I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all real quick how I got my logo. So you go to uploads here and it lets you upload your logo. This is what my logo looks like after I've created it on a graphic designing place. So always when you go to Cricut, you wanna use the complex. This gives you the ability to make your logo crispy clean. So I always go to complex and then you wanna remove the black and then continue. And so um, you wanna cut the image out. You're not printing it. So printing it would be, for instance, if you wanted to print it just like this with the pink, all of that, but we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna cut the image. So we're gonna upload it to cut. So when you get to this screen right here, you're gonna make your image bigger. Oh, let me go back. And this is what it's gonna look like. So, 
all the background you're gonna take out so just you're gonna click so for instance you don't you only want the words you want the letters you want the lines so all of this background has to go so you're just gonna click I don't know if you see me clicking it all the pink away I just want the lines So I'm going to click all this, you can zoom in, that way you get all the little pieces. And you see, you see where I'm going with this? I just want the line. So after I've clicked out all of the pink, this is what I'm left with, is my logo. The best advice I can give, well, honey, what I did. So on your grid, it has measurements. It goes all the way to a foot across and down. And most logos on your, like whenever you do custom packaging, it's not gonna be that big. Like you don't need it that big. And they even have ways to where you can, if you need it bigger, make it work. But I suggest measuring your packaging. That way you know how big you want your logo. So I have me some measuring tape. And girl, I just, just like this, <laughs> right now. Yeah. Looking like that. <laughs> So right now, and it's 11. Mine's 11 this way, and obviously it's gonna have to be square because I have 12 by 12 here. So I just did 11 down and 11 across, and that's how it came. Now that I know the length of how I want my logo, I'm gonna place it on my Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to 11. It's really easy. Hold on, let me zoom. Okay, so you see right here, it lets me make it smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom, I mean, make this smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and make it to 11. And it shows you the numbers on the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it down to 11 by 11. Okay, so that's 11 by 11. I got it perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and center it right here. Now, I'm gonna transfer this image over to my Cricut machine. Now what I'm gonna do is get my vinyl that I'm going to use. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my glitter vinyl because now I know what I'm doing. It took me a minute to remember, but girl, I figured it out. So now what I'm gonna do is load my Cricut machine with my vinyl. And before I load it, I'm going to need this mat. Like I said, it's a sticky mat. It helps your vinyl stick down to it. That way it doesn't come up. And so now what I'm going to do is, well, first let me take this tape off. It's a little time consuming, but it is worth it. Especially, you know, if you're trying to save money and then if you just like to, like me, I like my, I feel like my business stands out because it's me. I customize everything and I think that's what makes a business. That's what makes a business boom is if it's unique. And so I do like to do most of my own stuff just because it makes it more me instead of someone else doing it. It's like when you get my product, you're like, yeah, Malaysia did that. that is. I'm gonna put my vinyl onto this mat and you'll see you see it's sticking already. So first turn your cricket machine on. It's doing It's doing a little something something, it's doing a little something something. So girl, go ahead and put your vinyl on there. Make sure you line it up perfectly. Y'all can see what I'm doing All right. on here perfectly. And you see, if you want to get Cricut vinyl, that way it lines up perfectly with your mat. and load my Cricut machine. It's real easy. They have slots. You just put it in, and then I'm going to press this arrow button on the Cricut machine, which feeds my vinyl into the machine. If you have a Cricut machine, once you get it, you can follow these steps. You already know what I'm talking about because you'll see it. Now my arrows have lit up. That means that my Cricut machine has the vinyl in its slots and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna move this under here after me. 
So now I'm going to go back to my design space. and click make it. Now the machine is ready. Now on your Cricut machine, you have different settings. So the blade changes the, the pressure, the size that it needs to, depending on the settings that you have. So for instance, they have heat press, um, they have heat vinyl, they have um, thicker vinyl, they have premium vinyl, they have all different types. This um, also does card stock. This does light card stuff, iron-on, vinyl, paper, poster board, bonded fabric. That way the pressure, it knows the, how much pressure it needs to put on there. So for instance, if I had this on bonded fabric, bonded fabric is way thicker than this. So it would mess the whole vinyl up. It wouldn't pull, um, it wouldn't transfer over onto your packaging as easily. So you got to make sure that your settings are on right. So I got premium vinyl. So I'm going to make sure that this is on um, Vinyl Plus and it shows you what the setting is on your computer as well. So from this screen right here, I'm going to go ahead and click make it this green button up here in the corner. I'm going to click that and it's going to show me right here what it looks like on the grid, on the green grid that I showed you. So that's perfect. It's 11. Well, it's a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's 11 and 11. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press continue. The machine is flashing. So when it's flashing, that means that it is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button here. And now it's saying it's preparing on my screen. So now it's transferring the logo over to the Cricut. They are reading each other right now. And now it's about to start making my logo. So once your logo is finished, you want to release it from the Cricut machine, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and push this up. And now I'm going to take this vinyl off of my grid so I can go ahead and start peeling it back. And you wanna always make sure your grid is covered up, that way you can make it last longer because the sticky part does wear out after a while. I'm going to use my knife because I don't have my Cricut accessories. I ordered some off Amazon. They'll be here soon. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my knife to lift up the vinyl. You can see it's just, it's a sticker. It's just like a sticker girl. And you want to just peel it back. And as you can see, it's going to come right up. So that is my Punani Box label. Now you can see the P is not finished. So I'm gonna just lift this uh, middle part out of the P, just like that. It comes right up. Grab it off and bam. That is my logo for Punani Box. And then I want to show y'all how I transfer this logo onto my packages. I got me a fresh pink box. There's no logo on here whatsoever. And I'm going to show y'all how I transfer over the logo onto this box, girl. Okay. So, you, of course, you're going to need a flat surface, something within reach. Don't make it hard on yourself. Work smart, not hard. I told y'all you're gonna need transfer paper. This, you can get all this stuff off Amazon. It's not expensive at all. 
And so now I'm going to lay my logo flat. Come here, sis, let me show you. I'm gonna lay it flat on top of my logo. Now I'm gonna get like a squeegee, something flat. Again, I ordered me some Cricut tools off Amazon, but I don't have them right now, so I'm gonna be using this. And you want to flip it over on the white side to do this, because you don't wanna mess up the glitter. So now I'm going to make sure that it is put flat. That way it lifts up my logo real easily. You can see it's transferring over. Just like that. I have my logo on the transfer paper. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the box. I'm gonna stand up to do it, that way I get it on there perfect. And you wanna make sure it's centered, so that way it looks good. Center and measure it, make sure all measurements are right. And I'm gonna put it So it's centered, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my squeegee, but I'm gonna do it really gently. We got on there perfectly. Bam, chicken, well, well. There's my logo. And you can also reuse your transfer paper. I would say you can reuse it about five times until it's not sticky anymore and you're gonna need a new sheet. There is my logo. Super cute. And now let's put the logo on the top. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for my artwork on the front of my packaging, but I'm going to be using different vinyl. So I'm gonna be using my straight black vinyl for my artwork. I'm about to go ahead and knead this one. And now the the art is a lot more difficult to knead out than the logo because of course this is more precise. So I'm gonna just let y'all watch me do it while this is going on and while I do it because I don't wanna be talking and accidentally mess something up. I do You think you're bad boy But I feel bad for you Think you're bad boy Think you're bad boy Think you're bad Think you're bad But I feel bad for you I'm not even mad I'm not even mad I'm not mad I'm not mad I just feel bad for you I was pretty when I met ya Oh 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 Now I'm prettier than ever Oh 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 Took a second to forget yo boy Pathetic, I do. 
You think you're bad boy, but I feel bad for you Think you're bad boy, think you're bad boy Think you're bad, think you're bad, but I feel bad for you I'm not even mad, I'm not even mad I'm not mad, I'm not mad I just feel bad for you If you wanted to hurt me, will you fail big time? Cause I know you would panic and run I won't chase you, baby, I'm the good without If you think that I'm crying, you're wrong Think you're bad boy, think you're bad boy Think you're bad boy Hey honey, so it's the next day, it's Thursday. I got a lot of work done last night. I was up till 6 a.m. I didn't wake up till 2 p.m. But that's okay because I'm gonna be up till 6 a.m. again tonight getting this done. I want my launch to be by the end of the month or February 1st. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got done last night. I went ahead and got all these pre-cut. They're over here. I haven't needed them yet. But I needed nine of them. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one makes nine. So all I have to do now, the Cricut machine, I already cut them up. You could see the lines. So now all I have to do is go in there and knead out the extra pieces. And then I also went ahead and made all of my logos as well. So you can see it better in the sun. It's really nice. I got all of these pre-cut. That way, all I have to do now is get them put on the boxes. And then we got this over here. I already showed y'all the box. If you haven't seen my packaging, go check it out. My Punani box is amazing. I can't wait to, for y'all to see all of the new packaging and how I have everything set up. I was up till eight, waiting for my food. Ate it, went straight to sleep. And now we gotta get right back to it. I already designed my labels for my bottles. Well, I'm designing them actually. I already have label designs, but I want everything to be different this go around. So I'm going to see how it looks with the way I have it now. I'm finishing up the design. I make all my designs on my phone. So I'm finishing up my design now. And I'm going to show y'all what I come up with. How I put all of my labels on my bottles. Um, and then after that, I need to start making the product. I just got done making the labels for my bottles. So it took me a couple tries to get it placed just right. But this is what I came up with. It's got my Punani box, the name of the product, the description, and the net weight. And then on the back, it has the ingredients. So it took me a couple tries to get it because you have to get it placed just right. So when it comes to labels, I recommend using Avery labels. They have all kinds of styles, shapes, sizes, colors, white, gloss, whatever you need. I use Avery labels because it's a lot easier for me. I have an Epson printer and my printer is a Bluetooth printer. So it hooks right up to my phone. And Avery is just an easy way for anybody to customize their labels if they have a business. When you're making your labels, be prepared to mess up a couple times if you're doing it yourself. Now, if you want someone to do it for you, that's fine, you could do that. But I'm gonna show you the labels that I went through before I found the perfect label for my box. This was the original label that I came up with. It has the box, the same Punani box, the name, the description, and the net weight. But I didn't really like that. It looked, it didn't give my bottle the feel that I wanted it to. So I went ahead and did a label like this. But this label was too big. And then I had to go and make sure that the ingredient was placed, the ingredients was placed right. So as you can see on here, it has the ingredients too, but it wasn't placed right. And so I replaced it here, still wasn't right. And so I made it smaller. And that's the reason why you want to, it's okay to mess up because you want your product to be perfect. And so I finally, I was like, let me make the fonts a little smaller. And this came out perfect. It fits my bottle nicely, it looks good, 
and has everything that it needs to have on there. That's what I came up with, girl. I like it. Um, I had to center it a little bit because it wasn't centered. So I did center everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my labels onto my bottles because I love it. It came out super cute. Let me let y'all zoom in. So you see it says Punani Box, Pussy Moisturizer, description. The net weight is on there also. And then the gold just gives it a nice feel. I love it so much. I'm excited to get all of my stuff labeled and all the boxes done, but I'm doing everything little by little. So next I'm gonna show y'all how I put my labels onto my bottles. So there's my label, bottle. Get it placed perfectly.
Hey y'all, so it's Friday the next day. Today, I've already showed y'all that I finished doing all of my logos for my boxes. So today I'm working on the inside of my boxes. The, let me show y'all what it looks inside like. Inside of my boxes, they're plain brown. But I don't want that. I want the inside to be black. So I'm actually gonna go through and spray paint the inside of them black because I want it to match the black vinyl. I'm using this spray paint that I got it from Amazon. So I already showed y'all how I spray painted the inside of my boxes. They're finally finished and dry. I have a, um, two of them that I have to redo because it just it didn't work. But as you can see, I'm customizing them more. So they were just plain like this, just open, but I need slots. I need slots for the products that I'm putting in here. So I put these cardboards in and I spray painted them black also. That way it blends and it doesn't look crazy. I measured them right and then measure one right and then copy and paste the other ones. It makes it so much easier. So these, of course, I copied. That way it would come out perfect. And I'm not finished. So this was my demo box here. Of course, you're like, whoa, what the fuck? I know, right? So my first one I did, I had put this shredded paper. I super glued the shredded paper onto this, which, of course, is not the cutest way. I'm taking this out. Um... So I'm putting one more cardboard piece across it. So I have to get do one more for each one. Trust me, it doesn't take long at all. And then you hot glue it. So I use my hot glue gun. It's like so easy. And bam, I have slots for my boxes. And of course, the logos are still really nice. So yeah, let's get these finished. So this is how everything looking. Just got finished with them. Came out really good. All you need is hot glue, spray paint, and cardboard. I cut these cardboard pieces, of course, to match this, and I just hot glued it down. And bam, you got compartments for your product. We're gonna go on top. natural light bright agents girl let's go ahead and get into the packaging so punani box natural light bright agent this gets rid of discoloration dark spots scarring stuff like that and some of my labels got messed up on um, the way here as you can see so i'm um, re-putting on some labels that way they're nice and clean these are my labels for the light bright agent But my box had tipped over in the car, so, and it was, I guess, banging all around, and some of them got messed up. But there, bam, new label.
finishing up my last labels for my bottles. So I wanted to show y'all how I customize my labels. So this was my first labels for my bottle. As you can see, it's all right. You know, you can see it on there, whatever. And I decided to go ahead and, you know, make everything look the same and then just switch up my whole style. It is all a rose background because, you know, the punani, the way it looks. And so I feel like, feel like the rose and the punani all go hand in hand together. So that's why I do a rose background. These are my new labels for my astringents. Which one do you like better? I mean, I like this one because, you know, you can see all the gold and it's just like, ooh, honey, what is that? But then I also like this one because, you know, it gives it more of a product feel. So it has Punani Box on it. It is my Coochie Healing Potion. This product is great for breakouts. This product is made to heal and reduce inflammation. And this is the finished product, ladies. I hope y'all love it. This is the finished product for my new Punani Box packaging. I freaking love it. I just learned to do these bows like 15 minutes ago, girl. So my bows are gonna keep getting better, but I wanted it to be like a elegant, high class, upscale, expensive experience because you know, over here we expensive. So that's why I added the bow because I feel like it would give it more of a like, Honey, it's worth the money that you're spending. But I have to learn how to get my bows right. I was watching YouTube videos, of course, and I'm still learning on how to get my bow straight. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. That looks so much better, doesn't it? I watched some videos. Practice makes perfect. Did my ends all cute. I think I'm gonna cut this one maybe just a little bit more. Cause it's not even, huh? let me cut it even, right? I love it, girl. So that's honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and close this how to, whatever you wanna call it, video out. That is the last bit. I showed y'all how to, how I do my boxes, how I do my logo how I put these on, I showed y'all all the products inside, um, how, I lit, how I put my labels on, how I do my custom labels, and honey, I just showed you how to make your business pop. Do something unique. Don't be like these other girls out here biting, you feel me? Come up, some, come up with something original, because the original is always, always going to prosper. My Punani box is the best Punani box and the only Punani box. Okay, everybody else is themselves. Don't be trying to don't be trying to copy me. Okay, honey, but I'm just giving you ideas and showing you that if you want to start a business, you can do it yourself. If you want to have custom packaging, you can do it yourself. You know, and to see the thing about custom packaging is I didn't know how I wanted my box to begin with. You know, that's why I made it myself to start because I didn't know how awesome this was gonna come out. I didn't know how I wanted my slots, my compartments. The labels, I didn't know any of that. But now that I know how I want everything, I'm going to push and promote my business and it's gonna take off. And now all I have to do is send this box, a picture of this box, all my products, labels, to a vendor. And now I can have a vendor make me these boxes instead of me having to do them. I can have them put my logo on there, this logo, have the inside of the box black, the outside pink, you know, that way, that way it's not too much DIY. I mean, it's still a very great box considering I did it myself, but to save time and save money, I'm also going to go to a vendor and get these boxes made. So my next um, batch, you know, I won't have to hand make everything. But yeah, honey, thank y'all so much for watching my video. Give it a thumbs up. So girl, subscribe, like, comment, tag your friends, share this video, honey, and you already know, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth it won't get fed. I'm gonna see y'all next time. <laughs> hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.